Custom Analytics allows you to build robust, personalized data dashboards that puts the information your teams want to report on directly in their hands. They allow you to measure the things that matter to your specific bot project, so you can measure both its performance over time and its ROI for your business. For example, you can track at a glance how often your bot is able to successfully resolve a conversation or how many times your bot isn't able to answer a question from its knowledge base. In this video, I'll show you how to set up custom analytics and reporting on BotPress. To set up custom analytics, the first thing we'll do is we'll enable the analytics agent from the studio. So I'll navigate to the analytics agent in my agent menu and make sure that it's enabled. This gives us access to the track event card that we'll use to track custom events. Now, let's place some custom track event cards in this bot's flow. In this simple bot, all I'm doing is answering user questions based on a knowledge base. So the first thing I want to be able to do is track how many times my bot isn't able to answer a user question based on the information it contains in its knowledge base. So I'll go over here in my bot's flow, and whenever my bot is unable to answer a question, it'll tell my user. So those are the events that I want to keep track of. Here, I'll take my track event card and place it in this node and give it a meaningful name, like no answer from knowledge base. Now, every time my bot is unable to answer a question, it'll ping this event or add one to its count. Let's do the same thing for successful resolutions. So if my bot is able to answer a question from a knowledge base, I'll place the track event card in this first node and it'll execute only when my bot successfully answers a question. I'll call this node successful resolution. Great. Next, let's customize our dashboard so we can visualize this data. Your analytics dashboard comes pre-built with lots of useful information, like how many people are chatting with your bot, how many of them are return users, and how many messages do they send on average. You can use this dashboard to measure the efficacy of your bot project over custom periods of time that you define. Next, let's check out those custom events. For example, I can edit the source data for this chart and select those two custom events we created earlier as my source of data. So now, this chart is reporting on those custom events that we defined. So here, I can see how many times each of these events happened. In other words, how many times was my bot able to answer a question versus how many times did it not have an answer in its knowledge base. With custom analytics, customer success can report on the amount of resolutions a bot was able to produce, or sales can report on the number of leads generated through a specific bot. By tracking what matters to your bot project, cross-functional teams benefit from accurate reporting and increased transparency on a bot's ROI. Pretty cool! Happy bot building!